entire build. Going to 4080 RTX GeForce RTX 4080 Zotac GPU. I will be going from Z690 MSI Z690. Wi-Fi Edge or Edge Wi-Fi uh, motherboard. I will be updating to the Z790 and the RAM or memory that's inside here is the DDR4 3600 megahertz. However, I have started the upgrade last week. I have a summer wrong and it was powered up and then it powered back down. Done all the troubleshooting and I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Power supply is the issue that I came to but I always get close to that power supplies so I know that it couldn't be that. And I still think it's not that. What I think it is is this here. Basically you know with the 4000 series, you're gonna get the adapters. And you have to have three eight pin PCIe eight pin connectors solo. That means a dedicated eight pin connectors to go from here to your power supply. No daisy chain, none of that. So I think that has something to do with it. Uh, but it, uh, this power supply supplied here is the 7, it's the 850 RM series. However, I've been had it since 2019, maybe 2018. What I decided to do was get a white one this time. A white. RM series 850 with of course you know these are the sleeved cables and this modular supply cables that come with it and the case I'm coming from a Corsair 5000X case and moving up to the Corsair 7000D Alpha case I'm coming from DDR4 memory to of course Benjis Pro DDR5 memory 5200 megahertz. And yes, they are the white modules. I'm trying to keep my thing white and black. So with that being said, I'm coming from the 11th gen, I'm sorry, I'm coming from the 12th gen, 12700K, going to the 13700K processor. I also have an 11th gen processor, but that's for my older build. The only thing I'm lacking that I'm missing is my case fans that supposed to be here today but you know what happens but they will be here tomorrow so I won't be able to complete the build till tomorrow but you will see in the video when I edit I will be completing the build so this is my Commander XT I already have one and my Corsair 5000X. I'm going to take that one from that and this and that will be enough. I'm going to have four of 120 millimeters case fans. The QL model. The newest model of the uh, Corsair case fans. I'm going to have four vertical. I'm going to have Alex I-70 uh, LCD screen and for the front I'm going to have four 
vertical in the front. I already have them in there, but they're black. So I wanted to go, since I was thinking about it and I had to wait till this weekend and everything, I said, you know what, let me just go all white. So this is a white motherboard. This is my white Z790 motherboard. This is the uh, MPG 790 Edge Wi-Fi. DDR5 memory. The reason I went to DDR5, I know a lot of people think, okay, why are you going to the Z90? Well, I want to take advantage of the DDR5 memory. I want to take advantage of the um, Z790 as far as the processor performance. And uh, like I say, the memory performance. So if I hold this up here, you will see. Well, I, I had already started building last week. So you see where the four fans are at. Of course, I didn't get to do my cable management with the fans, none of that. So you'll see the four fans this way. I got three up here. This is my i7-0 Capelix. This is the LCD screen, so I'm right here. So you got four vertical here in the front. You'll see where the front, I don't know if you can see it, you probably can see it. If I turn around that way, you can see it. So I'm going to have a total of 12 fans. And that will be it. So the next thing you see, you will see me building. I might do commentary while I build and I might just, no. We'll, we will just see how everything plays out. All right, so let's get started.